Hey everyone, welcome Andrew, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mara. We do like to grow hair on this channel, so definitely make sure you subscribe. In today's video, it is part two of some tips or advices of things that I've been doing over the years to grow my hair. And I just remember I don't have the intro, so this is why y'all staring at my face like this. But I do hope you guys like the second half to this video. Definitely be sure again to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, so we are back. I'm off of work. My bad. Um, I don't remember where I left off, I believe. I was talking about a diet, but y'all pretty much got the concept of that. This video is almost over, I promise. Another thing that I've been incorporating into my wash day regimen, hair care routine, whatever you want to call it, I've also been incorporating a scalp exfoliator as you guys know i do suffer with product buildup literally i just have product all over my scalp because my scalp does not necessarily absorb all of the moisturizers and whatever i put into it so so products are just left on my scalp so in order for me to combat that product buildup or to just clean my scalp thoroughly whenever i wash my hair I would go ahead and do a product exfoliator. What it is, it's like a cream that you put in your hair. You put it in your scalp, mainly that's where you focus it on. And it has little beads, almost like a face exfoliator. It has little beads and once you rub it on your scalp or y'all know you rub it on your face, it exfoliates your skin and it helps remove the dry or dead skin that's on your face. The next tip that I would have for you guys is try massaging your scalp. I used to do this when I was relaxed when I first really when i first started looking into like hair care things to make my hair grow faster i felt that my hair wasn't growing when i was relaxed for some reason because i was so obsessed with my hair and i felt like it just i was at a standstill so i was looking into ways to help my hair grow faster and i've learned that if you massage your scalp it actually gets that blood circulating which is again another reason why i brought my vibrating scalp brush that you guys have seen me use on wash days not only will it help remove the dirt or lift the dirt that's on your scalp but it'll get that blood circulating just so that way it can help increase and promote the growth like it's supposed to so definitely try massaging your scalp again if you feel like you're at a standstill also if you feel like you're at a standstill also if you do feel like you're at a standstill try hair growth methods so for me i started using biotin back when i was in i want to say late middle school early high school but i doubt it was in middle school so i'm gonna say high school that's when i started probably around 14 or 15 years old that's when i started biotin back then i knew nothing about liquid biotin we just had the capsules and let me tell you i tried the 5000 mcg biotin i've tried the 10,000 mcg biotin pills and i've tried hair affinity i've only really did a half a bottle of hair affinity because if y'all know them pills is huge and no um so we tried hair affinity i tried sugar bear hair over the years i went back to biotin because i found out there was a liquid biotin so definitely try other key factors like vitamins that will help you promote hair growth if you don't want to use vitamins you can use something that's more natural if you want to do like the aloe vera hair growth challenge or if you want to do the avocado mask you can try that those are more natural remedies that one was not for me okay um but like i said just definitely try your options there's definitely a lot of things that help promote hair growth or help promote health of your scalp or of your hair or whatever you're trying to do there's a lot of factors that can help with that me personally i just stick more towards vitamins and then i also dive into like other things such as masks because masks that's just something that i do i deep condition my hair but again like i said if it doesn't work or if i just don't like the feel of my hair but i don't like the product of that mask then i'm obviously going to go on to the next one but with biotin i've definitely had success with it so that's why i do talk about it so much in my videos because obviously like i said i've been using it for years and i never had a problem with seeing growth or just seeing like overall benefits to my hair whenever i take biotin i see a decrease in shedding y'all know that my hair shuts left and right up and down around the corner and back down so my hair shuts a lot my hair shedding outside of biotin that's just something that i've become accustomed to since my hair was relaxed that's just something that i've always seen and then coming into natural hair 
my hair still sheds the same amount but when I'm doing biotin my hair does not shed as much and then when I finish my biotin that's when the shedding pick back up and then it kind of like goes back to normal so like I said definitely just try your different options if you don't want to do a vitamin source you definitely do have your natural remedies but if you're more so not into natural remedies then you can definitely do a vitamin so that way you can figure out which one works best for you and which one that you see more results from also guys i get a lot of questions on how long do i take my biotin pills how long do i do the liquid biotin i like to give my body a break after a few months so how i did it before when i started taking biotin when i was younger i would take biotin for a few months probably two or three months and then i would give my body a break for probably three months and then i would go back on to biotin and then off again for biotin because if you don't know biotin it is something that is produced by your body so i feel as though if your body is automatically producing biotin you don't want to make your body accustomed to the biotin because then maybe your body will stop producing the biotin that it was originally making and then you're pretty much just at a standstill because your body is just so accustomed to taking biotin or to having biotin in a system that's just how i think but i feel like your body can get accustomed to something the more that you take it so you definitely want to give your body a break three months on three months off three months on three months off another thing that came from my last video is deep conditioning your hair deep conditioning your hair it is important because it puts that moisture that regular conditioner is not able to give you back into your hair and deep conditioner actually has more ingredients than a regular conditioner so it's supposed to treat your hair better or more in depth as to oppose a regular conditioner so for me i started deep conditioning my hair with steam you guys know i love a little steamer so whenever i steam my hair that is when i'm deep conditioning my hair I've tried to do it every week, but it is just so time consuming. I have to wait for the steamer to heat up. I have to wait for the steam to like hit the scalp, hit everywhere properly. Um, but it is time consuming. It's definitely something that you do have to plan in your day because you will spend all day pretty much doing your hair. And if you guys know, natural hair does take a lot. Relaxed hair takes a lot, but natural hair it's even longer. So it's definitely something that you do have to consider if you want to steam your hair. But when I started steaming my hair, I can definitely tell you that I did notice a difference. And here is how. So I talk about all the time. Y'all know that I got thick roots, okay? My roots is thick. They just thick. So for example, with a wash and go, before I started to steam my hair, y'all know y'all trying to get in the roots. You got your gel and you're just applying it, the roots, they're gonna puff up. That's how my hair always did. I never expected less because my roots, they just thick. But I can tell you that when I started steaming my hair and I went to putting my styling products, I definitely noticed a difference when I got closer to my scalp because my roots, it was not as poofy or as thick after I applied the product. So that's why I said definitely incorporate steaming into your regimen. If you're not able to steam, if you're not able to buy a steamer, that is perfectly fine. Just definitely try incorporating some type of heat into your regimen just so that way it can get those hair follicles to open up and it can allow more moisture and more product into those hair strands um hmm, what else um you guys obviously know that if you have natural hair or just i feel like anybody for that reason then you should not be washing your hair every single day i know it can be hard i sometimes with natural hair i've had to do it myself there was times where i washed my hair one day and the next day i went back and washed my hair again and the main reasoning is because of failed hairstyles I can definitely tell you that I had a lot of those moments, but definitely just try to find an alternative as opposed to just going back and rewashing your hair. My alternative hairstyles always puff. Why? Because I'm able to easily slick my hair back with a puff or with a top bun. I told you guys my roots is thick. Me trying to get it all over my scalp and try to brush out my roots after a failed wash and go that is not the best idea. So I go ahead and I do my top bun. I just brush around the outer parts of my head and then I put my hair up on my head. I really do think that's it. Those are definitely just things that I've been doing since I've been natural, since my hair was up here and my length straight was here and now we are down to hip length. So that's really just all that I've been incorporating or doing with my hair. There may have been a few tips that was new but like I said everything else probably has remained the same because my my routines just haven't changed like what i've been doing to my hair hasn't changed over the years 
so that's why i'm just telling you guys this again so the last thing that i wanted to tell you guys do not stress over your hair growth as you guys know stress can cause a lot of health factors and that's just something that you definitely do not want when i was younger i used to stress over my hair not growing i told you guys my mom would take me a gray clips i would walk in with my hair here and i walk out with up here and that's with a trim i feel like the more that you stress over your hair the more it's going to prevent you from seeing the actual growth that your hair is actually doing like i said when I was younger I used to stress over it I literally used to freak out every day because my hair just wasn't growing as fast or it wasn't as long or just whatever so after those periods of me freaking out about my hair has passed I just let it go because there was nothing that I can do about it that's when I actually started to see growth I'm gonna tell you guys this I do still obsess over my hair I'm obsessed with how long it's gotten because like I said I've never seen my hair this long before even when I cut it the first time ever in my life. My hair has never been this long. So I do still obsess over my hair, but I'm not stressing over my hair. If I have to cut off two, three, four inches, yes, I'm going to be sad. Yes, I'm still gonna obsess over my hair, but I'm not going to stress over it because it is just hair, it's going to grow back. And if it doesn't grow, and if it doesn't grow, then I know that there's other alternatives out there that can try to assist with my hair growth so definitely do not stress over your hair like i said the more you pay attention to it the more you won't see the growth and that's just something that you don't want to do clear your mind of your hair stress and just let it do what it do because once you do once you clear your mind everything will just start to flow as normal and for those who feel as though their hair just doesn't grow at all maybe it's just something that's internal maybe it's the medication that you're taking um, maybe it's just something that's going on within your body. Just definitely go and try to consult with somebody if you feel as though your hair has been at a standstill for months and just nothing has changed. Um, just that way they can tell you exactly what it is that you need to do or what's going on with you because I can't tell you that. So that is all that I have for you guys. I'm not exactly sure how many tips or whatever that was but I will put them on the screen. I do hope you guys found this advice or these tips helpful. I do hope that it can help you in your journey to growing long hair. Like I said, if you do want to partake in any of these hair growth challenges that we do on my channel, definitely join in with us because that's mainly what this is about, just growing hair and just helping your hair benefit and be as healthy as possible. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. Definitely be sure to give a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.